and so to get score so we need text and text so first I like every time player kills enemy it's some get point then we need to store the score and the highest score they're going to be that will be a high score so high score going to see when we play die and uh, the score going to see in during the game and we also need to update the high score if the high score be less than the current score so first i'm going to first go to ui and canvas this is going to be a score canvas then right click here ui and text this is going to be a score okay so let's go to the canvas here all privacy I'm going to drag and drop just make it some little down make it zero here and make it minus 50 and I'm going to make this center on the both in the text and okay also I'm going to increase the height and make sure that this is going to be bigger then our okay, so right there's the highest score that can achieve the player so makes you because our if we going to more than so it does not going to show by then so make sure it's correctly choose the size of the canvas I'm going to make this and also I'm going to type score ok nice looking right to then let's create a new script I'm going to get adjust it here give this here, here. so I'm going to name it score Score script and new script and create an ad. Then add the script, open up the script in Visual Studio. First, I'm going to create a to int int in score and int high. high school let's make both of them public so we can see in the inspector in the two public and make the score equal to zero in the starting because the beginning of game score will be equal to zero then in update function we need to every time when the player kills it gives some points so instead of in update function, I'm going to prefer to remove the update function. Then going to create a new function public wide. So I wanted to give the score when the player kills enemy like that. So score. So give the int score amount. Then I'm going to score plus increase the score amount, score amount. Score amount. Simply is that simple. Then in update function wide update function. We need also need to access the tax thing. Let's create a public tax same thing. We need to access the first UI stuffs UI using unity engine dot ui then text going to be our, our score text now score text dot text is going to be equal to the score Let's give some little bit space and then add this by so and if we try to add this 
going to add words also we need to convert into string for the word field score dot string okay so we need to convert this code into two strings so it is a int and it cannot be added with string okay int so first we need to convert the string then we're going to add okay then so also we need to give the score so first i'm going to the every time a uh, player dies enemy health okay so in enemy health every time it dies so it's also going to be so I'm going to have score, script, score, script, simple. Okay. Then down here, as we destroying this game or this first script, score script is equal to game object. So this score script is in the kind canvas. So we need to first go to the store and give some tag to him. So I'm going to the tag score so and save game object dot find object with tag. Let me find this object too. and tag going to be about just like type score. Make sure it match the scope. So it match the string, and then we're going to find dot get component, and the component will our score strip and simple. Then score after finding score strip, we also need to access the our score function that is this one. Now score and the score will be going to be I want to give the score like 20 so it means the score now let's test this thing so first thing I have to give the score text here and if I going to play the score is going to be a zero yes, okay. now let's destroy this tank first let me destroy you Okay, so look, it's give the 20 scores and let's destroy him too. We get 40 scores. And 60. So our score is for now. Let's time to save the score. Now we need to to save the score we can use player prefab now this is going to be inbuilt function of the unity so first thing i am going to save, see the score when the player die so let's create a ui and go to text and this text is going to be a high score Now we need to access this high score. I'm going to change it. So first, uh, I'm going to first we need to save this high score into the high score variable. So here I'm going to name. First, I'm going to force save it this time. Now if score, we need to check our score is equal to or higher than the high score. Then we're going to store this. So score is greater or equal to high score so high score is going to be equal to score and then we also need to store the high score so i'm going to name player prefab player prefab dot and we have many things so we need to is have a get in and get float so but we need to set the float and set it so you set in and the also there's some key string key so in which we will save so I'm going to name it high high score and then it will give me is asking me the value 
So I will just simply give the high score here. Simple as this. So it's done now. We also we save the string, so save the value. Now we also need to get the value. Now getting this is easy and uh, as we're going to start the game here. As we're going to start the thing first, we need to get this. So clear prefab dot. Uh, okay, sorry. First, let's first access the text of this public text. High score text and our high score text. High score text. I'm going to equal to the player prefabs dot, and this time we need to get the value to get into, and just write in the name of the string. So this time our string name is high score. So just high score. Make sure this name and this thing match. So simply copy paste. Is a good idea. Control C and Control plus V, and also we need to into text, and then we need to convert into the string. Okay, I score, and I think it should going to work. So we first hide the text and high school, and also if the player down, I mean, is there, so we also need to set the new score. So down here, uh, high school text dot text is going to be equal to simply this line. I'm going to copy paste this line. Control plus C and Control plus V. Because it's for set the if the player make a new score, so we just save the value, but doesn't show this. In it's so not going to update the value in start because we just update the value first frame and then update in the afterwards. Okay, now we save the script and it's going to work. I think. Okay, okay. So first thing, as we go into start function, we just not need to set the text here first. We need to save this in the end first. Okay. So just not use the text, just simply score as an int integer and then it's going to save automatically. Just done this task here down here. So automatically set the highest score int automatically here. So it does not need to choose the text. Only use the text in one time and it's going to work. So if I go into the edit and there one more option to go edit and if you look clear all prefabs. So when you're going to deploy this game or is if you wanted to like restart the new new game type so clear all the prefab going to remove all delete all your data in if you have in player prefabs in this case we have a high score then if we play this game if you look it has score 0 let me make the some score down here wait for some time okay let's play this game let one 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 die okay another die we got the score Another word are let's kill him too. Okay, okay as a die looks score 140 and we make the high score 140. So I'm going to restart the game and if I go to die immediately. Like make the health less for example 10 and it's look it's our score is 0 but our high score still does not change so it's the way our high school system is working correctly and one more thing as I go display the text here high score dot text before this I'm going to just create a high score then add this string by this simply okay just make this not there. Now that's the pattern and this high school works and